with a 12 inch wire wreath form and this paper burlap mesh is from Walmart and I just cut about 10 inches off and then I rolled it up and then I cut it in half to give me two pieces. And so then here you can see I have um, six of these cut like this and then I'm gonna cut all of them in half. And then this um, color of mesh, uh, probably got it at Hobby Lobby or Craft Outlet or something. And I just cut at probably eight inches and that is what I'm going to begin layering on uh, my wire form. So there's um, six sections and so I'm going to put two uh, uh, gathers on each like section and so I just have a burlap mesh and I'm just securing them with Chanel stems. I, I don't I don't know if this is a ruffle or a, I just gather it. I don't even like I just gather it together. This is just kind of what I do just to, to make wreaths. And uh, I just am putting two, I'm putting a, a paper mesh and then putting that um, off-white color. And I have two of these per section. And then I begin layering from there. mesh is most likely from craftoutlet.com and I'm just cutting it off uh, I don't know eight or ten inches I just usually roll it out and if I like the link I just cut it off then and so I'm just gathering these two I'm putting it in between the uh, paper mesh and the other one I'm not putting it on top of this one I'm just um, finding a spot and just going in between there and I have six bundles of these uh, the uh, maroon and the navy or it's kind of like a deep red and a navy um, and that's the way it all looks all cute together I used these ribbons and now these red trucks with the American flag are from Michaels and I just cut the length for three trucks. This uh, star ribbon is from Michaels as well and I cut that at 12 inches. Um, this burlap with the blue chevron is from Walmart and that is what I'm going to uh, begin layering on my wreath. My cute little sign came from nowhere else but my favorite store, Hobby Lobby. Uh, I did take off the back. It kind of like has a little kickstand. I just removed that and then I stapled it on uh, my wreath. And so I like to do this first before I put my ribbon on so that I don't get my ribbon caught on, in between or underneath um, the, uh, you know, I like to staple it where I can um, have some you know mesh have some kind of like meat that that where my staples won't go through the front so I always uh, make sure that I have you know something secure so that it won't go through the front of the sign and then I begin layering my ribbon on and I'm gonna start with this um, four inch burlap chevron that came from Walmart and I'm putting that uh, layering that on with the uh, deep red and the navy then I will um, add the blue stars with the truck and that is going in the ties with the burlap and the off-white mesh
This pitberry garland is from Hobby Lobby. I just took the pitberries off of the garland and it also has the little metal stars on it. And so then I just included the little pitberries uh, in uh, on the section with the uh, chevron ribbon. I added uh, some gingham um, ribbon. This is that same gingham ribbon that I used for my faux patriotic books. And I just put a knot in it and just cut it off and just glued it on, um, on my wreath and included my little pip berries. <music> 